Welcome to today's episode and guide here, my friends, for the Big Bow Brawl. Super excited about this one here. We are a top 10% player already as the number one free-to-play player, as we like to say, and very excited about what we've put together. So thank you for tuning in. As always, if you got a question, if you got a comment, let me know because I'd love to hear from you, as always. And feel free to join us in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. Today's episode, we will break down the Big Bow Brawl. I'll share my team with you as well. It is something a little bit different relative to some of the historical types of events like this. We'll talk about that as well. And then we'll go for the run and show it exactly how it's done. So let's get into it here. First and foremost, what exactly is this? Well, the Big Bow Brawl is a similar event, like I said, from some of the previous ones. Uh, essentially what it is, you fight the Big Bow and collect steaming dumplings, my friends. After the season ends, tallying will be held for a certain period of time. The score needed to obtain certain uh, ranking rewards is updated with a certain delay. Please note that the values might change at the end of the season in case of too frequent changes to, to the player's placements in the rankings. Now tokens, you can obtain uh, resources according to the number of times damage was dealt to the boss. There is a chance to receive more valuable resources as well. Damage dealt with fire, poison, etc. is not counted, so keep that in mind. Once you have acquired the maximum number of resources, they will stop appearing for the remainder of the season. Now, on top of that, we have special effects. In this game mode, you can enjoy two types of bonus effects, upgradable effects and random effects. We'll talk about those here in a second. Claim resources from this game mode to make your upgradable effects more powerful. Use coins to activate one-time random effects. These effects do not repeat in other slots. You can meet certain conditions or use crystals to add more random effect slots and the cost of rerolls will increase with each try, but will become fixed at a certain point as well. So very, very powerful here. So first and foremost, as a strategy, what you wanna do is you just wanna get in there and take this thing down so you can keep leveling these up. You're gonna get access to more attack, you're gonna get access to more cooldown and access to more crit. These are all very, very important here, my friends, um, in terms of a, just getting there first and foremost. The other thing, like it was saying, is what you're going to collect are these things right here, steaming dumplings, and you're going to be able to use those as well as the other steaming dumplings right there for a lot of these rewards, my friends. So make sure you're taking advantage of that as well so that you're claiming these things by the end of the event. We only have 13 days um, in order to do that. So I want to call that out between the strategy and where you're going to do that. Now, in terms of this particular piece, a couple other things here. You got this random effect piece, like it said. Now, you want to try and get three of the goldens. Um, essentially, with stacked crits, you do want to get crit damage, in my opinion. That one's very, very powerful to help you take this thing down. Now, let's go ahead and see what we can get. So right now, we got ambush cookies, 30%, crit damage, 75%. If that's part of your team, maybe that's what you want to do. Let's go again. Now, it can add up and get expensive. We're going to keep going. Here we go. This one's really, really good. So here we got crit damage plus 35%, all periodic damage plus 20%, and ambush cookies, crit and crit damage, which is huge, my friends. So those. this is a really, really nice roll for us. It might not match the specific team. Let's talk about... Um, a couple of thoughts here. So first and foremost, in terms of the attack and crit, one of the things around that, why I'm saying crit damage is as you get to that 100%, you need to go deeper into that damage, which is going to be crit damage percent increased. Not just the a, a chance of a crit, but the actual percentage of that crit damage going up. Then the other ones here on the periodic damage and why I'm bringing this up is in past events, Poison has been very, very popular, and some Poison teams are still very, very good for this. However, in terms of my particular team and my video here today to hit the top 10%, that is not what we did. What we did was this, so it's time for us to break down our team. We actually leaned in on our uh, Lightning-esque type build. So we're doing this one here because it works really, really well. We're focused on the over crit. We're focused on more crit damage here with the 41%. That's going to give us 70% plus all the other percentage of crit here, which is crazy. You can do that to essentially auto crit every single time. That's why going deep on the percent is big. Now, the next tweak that you can do is once you're capped on that crit, you can actually switch um, away from apple jelly into the raspberry and more focused on your attack. Doing that is going to 
actually boost your score even more because you're already capped at that crit. So I wanted to give you that different example. Uh, a quick thing here is this is another idea and concept that I'm currently working on. Again, more revolving around the poison. However, for me in particular, again, this one's worked out the best um, and got us that top 10%. Now, what we are doing, again, like I said, is cooldown and crit and attack um, in order to really maximize this team. Um, we got Overcharge here. You may not want to run with Stormbringer. Many of you may not have Stormbringer as well. Um, in this case, what you may want to do is put something like Rebel in or Milky Way um, or another damage reduction uh, type cookie um, to really boost everything else that you have here. So just calling that out or Captain Caviar as an example. Um, here then we have Linzer. Linzer is going to help um, with the deduction and then again amplifying attack and uh, crit here for electric type. And then Creme Brulee also just does so, so much damage. However, stacked in this grouping, he'll actually do a little bit less and won't deal as much as as possibly could so now in terms of our gear let's talk about this so as always we do have our toppings biscuit gear guides here on the channel that you can check out we recommend radiant resonant or topping specific and then similar to biscuits um, we have all those guides and a playlist down below for you so here we go we're on crit here our biscuits generally are going to want to be at 30 um, ideally and then if you can get to three or four all these things will make a difference um, as well for your particular uh, score in those things again focusing in on attack and we'll come back with one more tip and trick here before we go for the run um, then additionally here we're on attack with our black lemonade um, Linzer, we are actually on damage, uh, or sorry, um, we're on the caramel so that we can get that attack speed in and get the reduction effects in. Certainly I can do a little bit better here. So that's good improvement for us here for, um, Wesley, we're on crit. This would be a good example of where you can move over then to attack once you're at where you need to be. If we look at all of our gear, we're already at that 54% plus that other 30% stack plus everything else um, with overcharge. So that's a huge, huge piece there. I'm wanting to call that out. And then last but not least with Creme Brulee here, we're on attack. Um, similar, we're also on these stats here for our biscuit. So my friends, that is our team. That is our breakdown. That is the strategy for this particular grouping to help us get to that top 10%. The other two things that I want to call out, I said one tip, we actually have two, is this. Um, we do, as a free-to-play player, for many of you and newer players, all your cookies are going to go to level 80, skill level is going to go to 80, and tre treasures go to level 12, which is huge. My stuff is not maxed like that, so it makes it a huge difference for me and that kind of levels the playing field now what we don't see here is all my research and those things that do make a difference um, so keep that in mind and then the other thing about this run is you don't have to worry about healers at all you don't need to heal your team um, so those are big pieces to keep in mind my friends so now that we've kind of walked through Big Bow Brawl, we've also given you the team. So the four T's, the tactics, the team, the treasure, and the toppings in order to help you succeed and take this thing down. We've given you some additional fun things um, and key tips and tricks. Let's go for this run here with this team. Really, really liking this. And again, like I said, if this would have been stacked more on poison type team or poison type build this one might actually do a little bit more from that perspective so again here you can see we got the overcharge supercharge in here across the team we got all the stacks going on up here over current suspect defense down um, received increased crit damage as well um, ideally for me to beat this if we can get to around 900,000 ish um, it makes a huge huge difference there in terms of trying to get by towards the end We'll certainly get over a billion. Again, some of it can be luck of the attack, luck of the crit uh, damage and the deep. And then additionally on top of that, just how the run goes. So very, very happy with this. Again, some of those sub stats and some of those things that we were able to do differently really, really helped us pull through that 1.8. Again, really, really nice there. Uh, ideally, we'd want a attack plus as well. If we get that additional attack in there, that's really going to lift things. Um, so that, my friends, is today's episode for you here for the Big Bow Brawl, walking and breaking down my team as the number one free-to-play player for you here um, and a free-to-play player, obviously, when I say that. Um, and how to succeed and do very, very well in Big Bow Brawl. Something different, like I said, an electric type focus versus some of the past stuff on the poison. 
I'm giving you some alternative ideas on how to do this. All these cookies, except for Stormbringer, are going to be available to you in the mileage shop as well. So I like to call those pieces out. You can certainly swap some of these things around if you need to on some of that damage like we had talked about too. So with that, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Keep at it. We'll continue to produce some guides and things here for you on Big Bow Brawl. Um, if you still got a question, if you got a comment, let me know because I'd love to hear from you as always and would love to see you in our amazing Discord server and community. And with that, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I appreciate your support. A great way to stay connected is liking and subscribing um, to the channel. And additionally, my friends, thank you to all the members here. As always, uh, I do appreciate that. We do have memberships available to you. On top of that, we have affiliate links and a swag and merch store that you can check out. All great ways to support. And I really do appreciate that, my friends. Um, don't forget our socials, at me, chat me, stay connected, my friends. And with that, get out there, take on the big bow brawl. If you can say that 20 times fast, good for you. And with that, we'll see you again soon. Until next time, keep on running.